What's up, I'm Matt for Show because you have an amazing freaking day. Today's adventure is going to be traveling to go meet up with Porn Stash and his buddy, and we're gonna go explore some little ponds that potentially maybe we're not supposed to be at. You know, it's it kind of brings me back to my roots, looking around all over the place through town, driving by, I wonder, can I fish that pond? That pond right there's gotta have fish in it, and then eventually you kind of sneak up there and, and you fish it. You explore the slaunch factory, see if it's any good, and then you're on to the next one. If you get kicked out, you're super polite, you say, I don't know, you play dumb and stuff, and you live to catch slaunches another day. Real quick, before we get into the video, I wanna let you guys know that today, February 28th, until midnight is the last day you can purchase anything at millicanfishing.com to be entered in a chance to win an all-inclusive trip to fish with myself. I don't care where you live, if you live in Alaska, Hawaii, Nebraska, Alaska, Kansas, Florida, I will pay for you to come spend a day on the water with myself. All you gotta do is click the link at the top of the description, pick up a hat, pick up a hoodie, a t-shirt, whatever, anything. Every item you guys purchase at MillicanFishing.com will enter you one time for a chance to win that trip, so I'll leave the link right there at the top of the description so it's easy, and obviously, if you wear this hoodie and this hat, you magically catch more fish. It seems like a no-brainer to me. All right, let's go meet up with the stash. So what are the odds that we get arrested today? Not for three seconds. <laughs> he looks concerned. Welcome to not Lincoln, Nebraska, and we are definitely at a public location. All right, it's private, and Mr. Mercedes dude that just drove by didn't look too happy about it, but I'm here with the porn stashman and Trevor. Trevor is our guide for the day, who is an expert, unlike myself and Josh. We're at a pond where these guys have fished before, and we're gonna kinda sneak in here through the ice. I've never fished before, but Shit goes down a golf course pond, so we're doing it. We're doing it today, and if this doesn't work, then we'll go somewhere else. And if that doesn't work, we'll go somewhere else. You guys know the truth. Okay, let's do it. So there's a pond in there, or is it just land? Well, how long are we gonna hit before we get picked out? 30 seconds maximum. It is looks like about a foot. We're up to a foot. We don't want to go there. How deep is it there? Yep, that looks like what it is here, but it's five and a half. I'm gonna start with a teardrop for a second, but I think I might, since they say there's giant bass in this little pond, I might actually switch to Swedish nipples pretty dang quick. Let's find out what lives in the secret private property pond. Do we like have anyone that you know here at least to say why we're here? Or are we just gonna peace out quick? <laughs> Tim and Martha Sampson. It's my, my uncle. Oh, doubles. You got one? Yep. Big? Uh, no, it's not big. But we both got gone! On the baby perp. Like I said, we need to upsize to the tiny baby perp to catch the big ones. That's like the most perfect hook set location I've ever seen in my life. Of course, if it was a five pound smallmouth, it wouldn't have been hooked right there. I would have f***ed it up. <laughs> Good little starter guy, yeah, seriously. Even if I would have hooked him that perfectly, he still would have come off. Oh, God. That's a big one. Ooh, that's a good gill. All right, that's pretty quick three fish we just got there, and that's a pretty good sized gill. You got a whole bunch over there? Josh thought he had the fire hole. What an idiot. Oh, that's a, a tanker hybrid, dude. Let me see your pretty booger. Anything good? Hey! There we go. There might be fish within this puddle. Oh, that's a hybrid. That's a sexy one. Big ass hybrid. That's a pretty fish right there. And he fought like a some bitch. It's like that hybrid I caught the other day, except like two inches shorter and weighs twice as much. Oh, it's in his mouth. Why did you scare the small ones over here? <laughs> All right, multi-species challenge at the private golf course pond. Got another one, got two on the screen, but I got to put a cricket on. We're up to three species. A bluegill, a hybrid, and a large-headed hybrid bass green. Those lateral line sunfish ones. <laughs> that was a spot, I think, yeah. So really, we're up to more species than just three. On. Yep. The hair just rolling through. Oh yeah, another big hybrid. Dude, these hybrids are freaking awesome. Bluegill are pretty much a waste of space, besides feeding my precious large heads. But, 
These guys, if I ever can get them to shut the hell up here. You ever seen a hybrid that big before, Josh? Not, no, not for like six minutes. New PB hybrid. Trevor might have found a bass head. They don't know the drill. They haven't been caught. Ah, fucker. Me or the fish? Yes. <laughs> All of the above. Oh, don't worry. He's on. And he's not... No, oh, he grew. Oh, my God. These are sick. We got drags ripping. Dang. Better one? We got hybrid dude here. Is he growing? New PB. A little stunted guy. Yeah, longer one. So yeah, he's uh, not looking great. I think this hybrid weighs more than that bass. <laughs> he needs to eat. Yeah, we both caught uh, northern pike, I think, is what they're called. Northern pike. There we go. What do we got? Another hybrid. We should drop the inbred jig down there for the hybrids. And another one on the screen. That might be the best one of the day for me. So far, uh, the, the pond is a hashtag fire pond. Definitely some of the biggest hybrid bluegill I've ever seen in any of these lakes around here. So we, we did pick the right one. This is all the lake is right here. It's only probably, what, two acres or so? Not very big and not very deep. We're only fishing like seven feet of water. But uh, yeah, me and Trevor are whacking them. Josh hasn't got a bite yet. <laughs> Eat it. There we go. There we go. A large head. No wonder he didn't bite right away. This right here is why you fish golf course ponds illegally in Nebraska so you can catch a 10 incher like this. Oh yeah, he just went, hello, nice to meet you. That's not a blue gal. There must be a lot in here this size. Get off there. No. A large head. I'd give that guy a big pow, but uh, we'd get tossed sooner then. Stunted guy. Should be keeping some of these. Thin him out, let him grew. Got another. Oh, that was the biggest large mouth of the day. Oh, I caught him as he was going away. <laughs> he, came, he popped off and then he was just chilling there. God, freaking whacked it. Yeah, the hybrids definitely bite differently than everything else. They clock it, and the large mouth just touch it. Beautiful blue colored specimen. Here's the old jig, guys. I know it's nothing crazy. It's a little perp, just a little tiny purple tungsten teardrop with Mr. Waxworm. It helps the jankier your waxworm is, helps too. I mean, he's got some ice on him, so that doesn't really really matter. But basically, just dropping it down, it's seven and a half feet right here, about a foot off the bottom of those. Bluegill are just rolling through. But this is a good bait if you want to start off just fishing any of these little ponds because it catches everything from two inch bluegill to freaking, I've caught five pound bass on this thing. So. Definitely a good starter point. Josh doesn't use them because he's too cool for it. About a seven pounder. Let me check your hooks. Oh, they're actually sharp because they're hooked inside me. All right, they're good. They're good. Quit losing them. I'm mixing it up with the ripping, the reap, the raping wrap. That's what I'm gonna call it. I wish we get kicked out so I get a thumbnail and title. Shit. Can we call, let's call ourselves in. There we go. There we go, that's what's dicking with me. Finally, I had to switch up from the little baby purple jig so I could prove my prowess as an ice fisherman to my idiot son, Josh. And of course, to Trevor the guide. Finally, uh, one on the little tiny rippity, rippity ripping wrap. Yeah, shout outs Trevor because I'm brain dead and can't catch them on my own. Everyone knows this. Thanks Trevor. Thanks, Trevor. Thanks for trying to get us trespassing tickets with you. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that I thought when he got out of the truck. He's like, listen, shit hits the fan. I got you guys a ticket. 
or something like that. Check out this hybrid that Trevor just caught. It's dead gum tank. That's a cool looking one. Pretty hybrid. Nice one, man. On the nipple. Yeah. Shit. They're aggressive. You can wrap or rip or Another one on the crank and bait. Another one waiting for me. That one's got to be like a different type of inbred. He's got a bigger mouth, even though it looks the same. He also was much more aggressive. I just switched up and put the waxing worm, the wax on worm. Good God. There we go. He freaking got it. Another one on the uh, rippity wrap. They're like seeing it fall from up high. Coming and getting it. Oh my God, they are freaking getting it, dude. Another one. Yep. Ooh, is that a hybrid? That's just a straight up, eh. This is another one that's a, a different cousin variety of the hybrids that we are catching. That's like more of a bluegill. Look at that guy. That's, that's more of a bluegill inbred variety, I think. He's a little bit humpbackier. Yeah. Look at him though up close. Fall <laughs> off. But he won't. He won't just, he won't, he won't. He won't, he won't. Well, at least you got a title of your video now. That's your new PB. <laughs> <laughs> Does he look bigger? He grew. It's a 7 8 ounce jigging wrap. Yeah, that's a 4 inch long bait, guys. That's what you're misunderstanding about that. Okay, bye. Man, that pond was freaking badass. Those hybrids were super sick. We didn't get the big bass we wanted, but I was super happy with the ponds. Um, unfortunately, I gotta do something that I don't like ever do, but I just gotta go home and get some stuff done. I gotta get ready for the damn swap meet, guys. It's coming right up, and I have so much tackle to take there. Like I told you guys before, swap meet in Omaha, Nebraska, Concordia High School. I'm gonna put the information for it right down below. Is in a couple days this upcoming Saturday, 8 o'clock a.m. Uh, I think it's five dollars to get in the door, but come say hi. I'll have three tables there all together, and I'm gonna have a ton of fishing tackle, extra, ultra cheap, six cent stuff, my own custom painted stuff. Stuff from Mystery Tackle Box, all different types of stuff will be there. Super nice rods for super cheap. I'm getting rid of all my stuff that's not my Melican Fishing Series and my Six Sense Lux rods, so I'm jacked about that. But yeah, come on out, buy some of my shit, say what's up, that'd be great. Now one more time, like I told you guys at the start of the video, you only have until midnight tonight to go pick out something from MelicanFishing.com. Any piece of merch, a hat, uh, a badass Polytech jacket to keep yourself warm this winter, it's freaking miserable out here, uh, to win an all-inclusive paid fishing trip with myself, with yours truly. We, I don't care if you're from freaking Maine, or Hawaii or Nebraska, anywhere around the country, you have an opportunity to win that contest. I'd love if you pick something up. It supports the channel, supports me traveling around making these crazy ass videos for you guys. If you like this one, I'd love if you go hit the subscribe button and a thumbs up. I have a very special guest come on the show tomorrow. So uh, you guys will have to wait and see who that is uh, doing the old live stream. A couple beers will probably be involved. Should be a good time though. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry I can't stop with a love like mine